One of the stranger creatures in the waters surrounding the island is the Bacillosaurus saladium fessit. It's a powerful swimmer which has adapted to the shallows so remarkably well such that it rapidly recovers from injuries when near the water's surface. Conversely, it's vulnerable to deep water pressure which slowly causes harm. Bacillosaurus is usually closely followed around by other predatory creatures. Its eating habits leave a large amount of scraps for scavengers to consume. It's a gentle creature towards humans and happily takes food directly from them. However, the creatures that trail the bacillo tend to become dangerously enraged whenever this happens, as it leaves no leftovers for them. Despite the hassle of engaging with its ornery followers, many tribes still attempt to tame the bacillosaurus as its mammalian warm-blooded circulation provides the rider with perfect comfort from both heat and cold. Alternatively, Bacillosaurus is hunted, perhaps too vigorously, for its special blubber, which can be refined into a far more efficient form of gasoline. Yo, 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 what is up my brotherins and sisterins of the shaft? I am Naked Zombo, and in this video we are going to dwell more into the life of the unreleased dinos of Ark Survival Evolved. Unreleased, unchained, and exclusive. And we're talking about the big swimming sea sausage of the ocean, the Bacillosaurus. But before we get into that, I want to remind you that we do have two official Thick Freedom PC servers for uh, roleplay and PvP, so if you want to join in and party with us, or murder us, then you can do that by going to our Discord and it will tell you how to join the party there. Isn't the Bacillosaurus just one delicious looking piece of meat? Every creature in the ocean will want a bite out of that sweet ass. And I say that literally because it seems that the Bacillo attracts every sea creature in the ocean. The dossier does mention that the Bacillo is usually followed by other predatory creatures and its eating habits leave scraps for scavengers to consume. It's understandable though because the bacillo just looks way too enticing. If I were a megalodon and I saw this thing swimming around in the ocean with all that blubber, two things would happen. One, I would be drowning in my own salivation. I don't know how that would happen, it just would. And two, I would have a raging shark erection. I mean, take a look at this thing's hot bod. And I think it's so amazing that in this early access model, when you ride it, you actually become one with the Bacillo. I'm inside you. 
I'm actually starting to wonder, why is it always the sea creatures that I sexualize? I need to start giving some love to the land creatures too. <sighs> this thing looks like it would be the jackpot for prime fish meat, but I only got hide in some prime meat. It looks so attractive and delicious, even its own kind can't resist a bite of that hot ass! At least in this early access version, bacillos will attack their own kind. Remember, 80% of what you see about the Bacillo in this video will probably be changed in the final release. These early access first look videos are just to give you guys a visual with some information that is totally subject to change on final release, so keep that in mind. The Bacillo is said to be a powerful swimmer, but I didn't really notice anything too amazing about its swimming speed and maneuverability, however, an interesting feature about this creature, I got a, I got a creature feature for you, is that it will not be able to handle deep water pressure. It's just too much for its sausage-like body and no one wants to pressurize their sausage for too long. It's kind of big. Manly. <laughs> but the bacilla will be able to recover faster when they are near the water surface. I compared the health recovery while on the surface with the health recovery while submerged deeper into the ocean and it did look like it was recovering a bit faster on the surface but not enough to really care about it. This will most likely be altered in the final release. The Bacillo is a gentle creature and will not attack you unless provoked. The Bacillo will most likely be a traditional passive tame just like the Ichiosaurus dolphin looking thing so by that regard it should be a fairly easy tame. But the dossier mentions that the creatures that trail the bacillo tend to become dangerously enraged whenever you feed the bacillo because it leaves no leftovers for themselves, you selfish bastards. I'm guessing that means that any creature within the vicinity while you are feeding and taming the bacillo will get jealous, go berserk, and start attacking you, so watch out for any angry fish while you're taming this thing. Once you have tamed yourself a lovely bacillo, you won't have to worry about being too cold or warm if you can ever get warm in the ocean because the bacillo's warm-blooded circulation will keep the rider at perfect temperature as long as you're riding it. If you're not interested in taming a bacillo, then you can go on a hunt for its special blubber which can be refined into something far more efficient than gasoline, which isn't implemented in this early access mod, so I have nothing to show you about that. So what do you guys think about the Bacillosaurus so far? Will it be your next water type tame? Or is it completely useless as a tame and only useful for its blubber? Or is it just completely worthless? Let us know what you think in the comments. That is all the goodies I have for you on this creature. If you guys want more early access first look videos, then hit that like button to let us know. Let's get to 5,000 likes. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hit it because we have a hot load of content coming your way. Just tell us where you want it. I am Naked Zombo and I will see you in the next video.